This is the uh, goat meat blind taste test video presentation for Trey Earhart and Thomas Lisi. <clears throat> so for this experiment, the objective was to see how goat compared to beef and pork in a blind taste test. And some facts about uh, goat consumption in the U.S. Um, goat is not as, not as widely consumed as the U.S. as it is in other parts of the world. And also, because of that, it is not as widely produced in the U.S. And at the end of 2012, there were only about 2.6 million goats produced in the U.S., as opposed to 29 million beef cows produced at the end of 2012. And also, the demand for goat meat um, has increased in some markets in the southeastern United States, because it is uh, often served in specialty dishes centered at festival or holiday events. And consumption for goat meat fluctuates also with religious affiliations of the ethnic groups whose uh, staple meat is goat. And also demand increases significantly during Christian holidays such as Easter and Christmas and Muslim holidays. And for the experiment, uh, we used a blind taste test. The reasoning for this was to minimize or eliminate any preconceived notions or opinions about the different meats that were being used in the experiment. And again, it was a blind taste test, so the participants did not know what meats they were trying. They did not, again, they did not know that it was goat, beef, and pork. And we also randomized uh, various parts of the experiment. Um, such as the containers that were used for the meat and the way that the meat was served. And with that, the meat was served in little plastic cups that were labeled with squares, triangles, and circles. And they were also, they were also color coded. So there were red, green, and blue. And they had a corresponding survey of the same color. And so in a blue survey might have um, triangle equals goat, square equals cow, and circle equals pork. While a red survey might have triangle equals pork, square equals goat, and circle equals cow. And here we have an example of the different cups that were used to label to uh, identify the meat. Circle, square, and triangle. And again that was so they would just know it as those shapes and they wouldn't know it as beef, pork, or goat. And here we have uh, a participant actually filling out the survey while, while doing the taste test. And so the description of our sample, uh, the location was at the SST software campus uh, in Stillwater, Oklahoma. The date was October 29th, 2015, and the time was 11 a.m. to about noon or 12.30 p.m. And we used this sample um, to, because it consisted mostly of working adults that um, we would be able to get high participation. And the participants were recruited by Dr. Bay 